No. Come at the climax of uh, day three of uh, the North South Rugby Tournament in uh, Pretoria at the main field of the famous Afrikaans Oorsian School in Pretoria. It is, of course, uh, the NMI Toyota North State Rugby Tournament. And we've got two pulsating clashes on the way live on the Super Sports Schools and Channel 216 on DSTV. First up, we've got a great college from Bloemfontein, the flag bearers of South African schoolboy rugby, and most probably the most successful schoolboy rugby program on the globe. And uh, joining me in commentary for this big clash between Great College and uh, Jeffy Boys from Kensington here in Johannesburg is uh, a man that is a legend of uh, the game, uh, Mr. Kennedy Timber, played at fly half for. Uh, the Cheetahs and also for uh, the Bulls. Kennedy, this is the litmus test for JP Boys High School. They're coming up against arguably the best rugby school in the world and they have got a very successful program under uh, Carl Spillhouse, their director of rugby, a legend of the schoolboy game himself. Yeah, thank you, Johan, and uh, welcome to all our viewers. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a pulsating game, this. As you mentioned, both sides have got uh, good rugby programs just in terms of Jeppe, uh, the school that's based in Johannesburg there. Uh, Carl Spillhouse uh, is one of the, the great legends of uh, schoolboy rugby. He's given so much, just uh, his uh, inspiration and all his knowledge. And I mean, he's been doing it for so long. So it's almost like uh, Greg Popovich, the NBA uh, San, San Antonio Spurs coach who's uh, been coaching for about 30, 32 years. And all of that experience has uh, been able to just build a couple of dynasties. And that's a key thing here. Is this going to be one of those key sides that JP has uh, this year? Are they going to be able to come here and, and perhaps do what a lot of sides have tried to do? Is almost upset uh, some of the stronger schools. Uh, that's always the lit litmus test, as you said. Kennedy Timber, when it comes to pedigree in sport, there are very, very th few sides, not just in rugby, but across the globe in any sport that share the record of Great College. They've got a winning percentage of more than 91% over a span of 100 years, literally. And uh, they have been the flag bearers. Their program, run by uh, Director of Rugby, Bobby Jubea, a man who you'd have played with and against in, in your day, um, coached by Yanni Geldenes, who took over from Vessel Duplessis, who's with you in the structure at the Bulls, um, headmaster Bram van Veek, a man who invests so much time in his staff, in his players. You know, he's here. He flew out yesterday afternoon straight from the Nomads Hockey Festival. And, uh, you know, when it comes to, to a pedigree like that, enormous pressure on that first side. Every time they take the field, it is a star laid inside with names like Peter van Amerwe and Ethan Adams in the centers. Van Amerwe, the head boy of Great College. Um, he played Craven Week Rugby last year, played for the SA Schools A side. And uh, most in Sandry, and uh, probably myself included, felt he was unlucky not to be selected for the SA School side. They've got Dion Fenter, Liam van Weyck, and uh, Donnie Kria in that front row. Big boys, good scrummages, and good ball carriers. But it's that pressure. When does that pressure get too much? It's always a tricky one, especially when you are almost expected to win every game. And uh, the, the challenge is that every side that comes up against uh, Grey College is probably putting their best foot forward, right? It's almost like if we can win this one game against Grey College, then our season's made. We actually don't need to play anymore. So all of that pressure, and uh, just to know as players that every shot that we're getting is the best of the opposition adds to that pressure. And it's also, I think, uh, for them, it's almost uh, internal pressure that you want to perform uh, at an at a excellent level all the time. And that's that's sort of, so, sort of what you call inside pressure that the players are saying, we, we want to be like the, the past greats of the school. So there's, also, there's all sorts of little dimensions of, of pressure that are going on. Don't think for a moment, though, this JP side is going to stand back. They've got the likes of Macmillan Mongwana and Kutatso Rajivaga in the centres. Uh, Craven Week centres, both of them, you know, in, the, in a very successful Lions school setup. They're very highly rated. You're looking at Rasim Akosa, the eighth man, who's another one of those guys, continuously gets them onto the front foot. Big, bruising ball carrier. Bonga Kumalu at Turkey, who's a prefect as well. They've got Andre Poulton, the loose head. 
I played Grand Como week, and uh, he's the eighth man now, turned into a loose head prop. Talent Sitole, a man that plays first team basketball as well. The, at scrum half and uh, you know <laughs> you, you, you gotta wonder he's gonna be a really special basketball player because uh, playing at scrum half he might not be six or seven feet tall but uh, at the back as well Sanele Similani and we all know that surname he yeah. is of course the brother of uh, Wandile Similani who uh, recently moved uh, to the Stormers for more game time as uh, Kennedy Timber didn't want to pick him at the Bulls <laughs> and uh, you know <laughs> and he seems to have found his groove uh, over the weekend right but uh, those great men and picture you spoke about that uh, IP and intel of uh, uh, coaching greats there they sit yeah and Tevis De Bruyne just uh, on cue showing some nerves with a big yawn Yanni Geldenhuis next to him wearing the cap he's the main coach of the first side and then the big man Vian De Preer oh, great man Springbok a loose head prop and uh, he was part of that Cheetahs Carry Cup winning side when they had the five props in the 23 himself and Osturant and Oli LaRue and uh, the likes, you know, playing in that Carry Cup final against the Bulls at uh, Loftus Fashville just around the corner here yeah, from Afrikaans who were seeing school. But that is what Great College brings to a tournament. You can see the crowd is getting bigger. You can see they're on the edge of their seats. Uh, they know that they have been setting the standard and uh, the rest have been following and make no mistake the likes of paul jim paul boys paul Roos gymnasium afrikaans who are she in school right here where we are and then oakdale of course this year as well they look very solid so great college will not have it their own way in this game nor will they have it their own way in 2024 but it is amazing how they always just find that another gear when the going gets tough they get going but my eyes tonight will see, will will want to see how JP recovers. They had a brilliant first half yeah. against Paul Boys Eye Kennedy. It was 19 apiece at half time, and then they got ran ragged in that second half. As uh, Liam van Vijk, the hooker and captain of the Great College first side, strides out. Heinrich Tron, the big man there in picture. Zander Smit, who is the son of uh, former Springbok Philip Smit. Philip McLaren, he'll play uh, with a heavily bandaged head. He's got a cut over that eye and it is Liam van Wijk leading Peter van Amerwe and the rest of the great college troops out onto the main field of Afrikaans who were seeing school here in Pretoria it is the penultimate game of day three of the NMI Toyota North-South Rugby Tournament yeah and uh, coming out now is uh, the JP's black and white strips as they make their way onto the field and uh, this is great backing up from them had a tough game on the first day and obviously doesn't get any easier facing Grey College. And there are the referees that are just making their way onto the field. Let's just hope the weather, which has been uh, rather questionable, just holds out because this is going to be a really tantalizing game. Yeah, and on the first day, we spoke about that loss. JP suffered to Paul Boy's eye by 45 points to 19. Grey College came up against King Edward the seventh comfortably victorious by 51 points to 16 and JP will want to get that one over Kez early on in the season yeah, as well already they, they want to say listen we were able to push Great College or to beat Great College and look what they did to you those two epic battles will come later this year when the Reds play the black and white of JP and believe you me a lot of attention will be on those games as well Alzeden Felix he's an interesting character the fly off of Great College a man uh, that has uh, recently transitioned from the fullback into the number 10 position. He's done so very successfully in the first three games of the season for Great College. They beat a trio high school of Kronstadt in their first fixture by 40 points to three. <coughs> then they ran Valkum Chum Ragged by 52 points to five. And Felix goes uh, deep, taken in, and it's a safety first approach, long kick downfield, fielded by the right wing no in fact uh, fullback Danelle Hendricks Felix he's dangerous on the counter attack and it's a high shot early on of course uh, no sympathy from referees these days the base of the sternum that's your uh, that's your target yeah that's a correct call there by the referee and it was a young gentleman in the number nine jersey for JP we spoke about him uh, being a basketball player and uh, unfortunately he just went a little too high it's not the the right game he just needed to lower his uh, approach there 
It's a toilet. Luke Cannon, the lock, num wearing number five for JP. He's a man that uh, got full colours for cricket as well. They do have some uh, very talented sportsmen. Great That's hockey fine. side as well. On the ball, it's on the ball, yeah? Okay. Good sack. As we see Philip Claren. He gets his first taste of the game. Now Pit van der Merwe. That's good defence on the van der Merwe. He's a critical for Great College in that midfield. Liam van Wijk picks and goes the big burly hooker. Then lost forward as they just try and uh, stamp their authority early on. And that's a right call from the forward pack just to try and truck it up through the middle. And just looking around those fringe defenders that are, that are around the ruts from JP. And, uh, just unfortunate by Van Beek, it seemed. That's a little knock on as he tried to place it back. And uh, it's the right strategy Touch. for Gray just to suck in those great those, uh, JP forwards. Set. Just allow them to get a scrum here to perhaps exit. Talented Tolle, that's a tight head for Liam van Weyck. He's been on fire throughout this tournament, Liam van Weyck. Now Felix feeds Siabonga Kenny. He does well, the right winger. Pick and go from uh, Julian Cosma. The great college forwards uh, look to stamp their authority early on. Offload to the big Ethan Adams. He crashes it up through the middle. Junior star and a little chip ahead <laughs> goes out in goal but it's uh, promising early signs getting over the advantage line at World Great College yeah the key thing for JP here is just to try slow that ruck down the quicker the ball is coming out the more danger and more questions and that's why there was a little speculator of a kick that was put through there by uh, Great College is that back line that was just approaching and get, getting the ball in momentum. Uh, JP will do well to just slow that ruck speed down. Big kick in from Matt Kutsia, taken in by Siabonga Kenny. He goes uh, marauding forward as uh, Siabonga right, Kenny. Behind the back to Adams, uh, long ball out to Elzeden Felix. This is dangerous. Feet of flames, uh, Elzeden Felix. Very comfortable at fullback as well, as we said. Then Philip McLaren goes on a little dot. Reload. He's tough as nails, the young man. Brilliant sevens player as well, Philip McLaren. Heinrich Tron to Pit van der Merwe. Good offload, timing of the pass, but they were waiting for them in midfield. And a penalty to JP. They're weathering the early storm very nicely. Yeah, you've got to celebrate every moment, as they say. And that was great defense there by JP. You can just see the coaches again saying, do not let them go. Keep on putting pressure. Keep applying that pressure. And that's exactly what they did. Every breakdown now, we've spoken about the height and approaching the winning the race at that breakdown. And that's something that uh, JP did well there. Not the greatest of kick into touch. Would have liked to get a couple of more meters. Getting closer to that 22. As we look at there. Just a short pass here. And that arriving player got his hands on the ball. Now it's turned over at the lineup by Great College and uh, on the charge, Julian Cosmo looking for support on the inside. Late to arrive. Great College do win it back. They try to spread it wide. Kenny van got to be space on the outside. Gets the ball away. Last pass, inside step. <laughs> Easy does it. The fullback, Donnell Hendricks, with a try. It's all about the tempo. The tempo at rack time. Spreading it wide as quickly as they can. Yeah, simply done. To great effect there. They knew that the space was on out wide. They just needed to shift it through the hands. Just look how that ball was drifted. There, This pass could have gone earlier, but he made sure he took in two tacklers. And just look at the simplicity of that one hand offload. Spectacular and simple as it is there was another player left unopposed on the outside as well kennedy timber and you spoke about it earlier and that's uh, it's no secret why great college runs the show it is the tempo of the player they physically try to run you off your feet and it's those offloads from the loose forwards he's worked hard on his goal kicking has uh, lz and felix strike was solid Flags are raised. It's a perfect start for Great College. 
they lead uh, Jeppe by seven points to nil. Yeah, really good start. We're just making sure that uh, any turnover that they capitalize, they got a turnover from the line out there and made a good meterage down the line as we look at Felix just slotting it in his first conversion. Just making the score seven points to nil. Good hanging high kick there, collected in just outside that 22. It's Aya Mayer. His brother Lucas Mayer is contracted to the Bulls. Grade 11 player, the number five lock. Aya Mayer, long ball. Just look how easy they find the space. Now it's Ruben Silier cutting back on the inside, the big left winger. And another penalty. They're winning the battle at the breakdown. And this time it's their right winger, Lindelani Nkumbule, with some good work. They're not just going to disappear yet. Yeah, that's going to be an area that they can sort of capitalize, uh, can JP, is the breakdown. Especially if they're winning the race. And Kumbula did well there by just getting into that position and being able to jackal. And uh, there it is. Good tackle, brings him down. And there, right in, well snatched. That's a great tackle, that is. Correct call from the referee. And this gives JP an opportunity to perhaps get three points on the board. It's much needed. It's always important when you are in the opposition half that any opportunity, you try to get points on the board. It's the first opportunity here for Matthew Kutsia. A slight little wind, but it shouldn't affect his kicking. He's got right under that ball, but this could work out pretty well. Yes, it has. And Jeppy have got onto the scoreboard here through the boot of uh, Matthew Kutsia. He's a man that played for the under 17 Lions. Valpi's last year, Matt Kutsia. Not the biggest in stature, but he's very astute and he's got a good kicking boots on him. Felix goes downtown once again deep into the 22 oh, wonderful stepping out of danger this Chepi side is a very talented one advantage could see a penalty advantage offside great college over eager yeah just uh, eager to put more pressure and I think they've realized that that if they put a lot of pressure around those playmakers uh, of uh, Chepi high school they might just get some reward, but the referees just said just slightly offside there. And they're bringing it back. But this is a good uh, answer back in terms of uh, just receiving that kickoff and being able to just clear their lines. As uh, Kutsia just finds his uh, team just over the halfway line with a good clearance kick. Seven points to three. Great college lead. It's another JP line up this time. Bonga Kumalu. He's a prefect at uh, Chippy High School for boys. Can he find his target? Oya oh, Maya moving well in that grey line out, and it's another poach. And it's uh, the very self same Oya oh, Maya who bursts away with a good play from the grade 11 lock. Donnell Hendricks, no. Siabonga Kenny lost forward then by Donnell Hendricks. Double knock on. Yeah, that's uh, just the weather. They seem rushed here, Grey College. The defense of uh, JP have them under some pressure. Yeah, a little bit of pressure, but I think the wind is starting to play its Not part it. as uh, Drizzle starts to slightly come across the field as, as we look at it from uh, top to the bottom of the screen. And that could also just uh, affect your handling, and that's where the better sides Coach. are able to just uh, deal with uh, those handling Bye. issues. It's a good opportunity for Sight. JP here, just sitting on around that 10 meter mark. Satoli with a scrum feed. Could see it takes it nice and flat. Lots of movement in the back line. Philip McLaren comes across on defense for Great College. Satoli. Poulton carries it into the traffic. It's a positive carry from the loose head prop. Could see it. Backward, 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 the greatest backward. of passes. And uh, Ethan Adams, he's got the bear grip. Strong as an ox is the outside centre, and it's uh, ripped away by Siabonga Kenny. Balls out, balls out. McLaren. And he uh, sends Jeppy backwards, does uh, Philip McLaren. Good play from the scrum off, good play from Great College in defence. 
Yeah, I remember actually doing a game with you, Johan, a couple of uh, years ago, and watching McLaren playing for the under-16s for Grey College in Bloemfontein, and uh, already started showing signs of just being a smart player at the base of that scrum. Electrifying, and it's just got uh, good eyes for a gap. That's always uh, good skills for a scrum off to have. Trying to turn oh, no, defense into attack is JP. That was uh, good work on defense by Adam Nivat. The eighth man, another great 11 player in this great college first team. But it's uh, a good clearance from uh, Matt Kutz here. 11 minutes gone, only the one try to great college and a penalty. Ludwig Kukumut, there in picture. He's uh, one of the teachers, vice principal at great college. Lem. Van Wijk, Liam van Wijk oh, oh, oh. with an absolutely pinpoint throw to uh, Arjen Meyer. Zander Smith tracks it up. He wasn't held. Good appreciation of the laws. Felix. And across the face of all his uh, runners goes Alzeden Felix. Yeah, his grey engine just hasn't clicked yet. You could hear him screaming out of there, just saying, ah, I almost got all my angles and uh, the weight of that pass absolutely wrong. This gives the JP an opportunity. Oh, this is better from JP Talent. See Tolle now out into the midfield, strong running, but good defense as well. And a high hit from Peter van der immediately penalized. And another opportunity for Matt Kutsia. Can be a one point ball game very shortly. And yeah, this is good play by JP. They've uh, wandered into. Great College is half twice now, and this is a uh, two point scoring opportunities that they've uh, managed to create. And that's just been through putting pressure and also just executing everything right to the T. Have been impressed by the control of uh, Talent Sitole at the base of that scrum. He's going to be under pressure, the number nine for JP at rug time, at, at obviously set phases. He's done well just to keep distributing the ball, and this gives Kutsia a second opportunity to add the three points. Slight wind coming against him. And that looks good. Yeah, another three points at two JP. Seven plays, six here. We've had 13 and a half minutes. That is uh, day three of the NMI Toyota Northside uh, Rugby Tournament at the home field of Afrikaans Awards here in school. JP, of course, one of the 23 Milner schools uh, in South Africa, founded in uh, 1890. Come up against uh, the third oldest school in South Africa in Great College, founded all the way back in 1855. It's quickly taken. And now Great College look uh, to counter the dangerous Peter van der Merwe. Accelerates, bursts uh, through a half gap. McLaren. Backward, backward. And that's a loss backward. Well recovered by the big Heinrich Tron. Felix. This is a better ball. Cosmo. It's a good defense. Cosmo did really well to hold on there in contact. And certainly the rhythm of Great College lacking at this stage, and one has to give credit to JP. It's all because of the pressure that they're putting on this Great College side. Yeah, and the key thing about the pressure for me is what I'd like to see is that it just get uh, consistent in terms of do not just uh, put pressure for the first 20 minutes of the game. Let's just see if we can continue to put and apply pressure Coach. and also be accurate when we have the ball. And that's Five. something that uh, Talent Satole has done extremely well. Set. So between him Set and Kutsia, they're going to have to control this ball and again apply pressure and see if they can get more point scoring opportunity. That's and just as I say that... Poor pass oh. from Talent Satole. Yeah. And that's the old uh, momentum killer, Macmillan Mongwana, on the receiving end <laughs> of a howler. The man who played Craven Week for the Lions last year. Yeah, that wasn't the best of passes. Just rolling on the ground there. Ines Kaiser there in picture. The man uh, taking care of the strength and conditioning for Great College. And you can uh, well, uh, just you have a look there. <laughs> don't want to uh, be bear hugged by Ines Kaiser. No, you don't. Coach. Neither do you want to be bear hugged by the SNC man from uh, Jeppy, Mark or Eugene Lemaitre, who played for the SA School side at Hooker in oh. 2011. 
Should be an interesting battle between the two, two SEC coaches. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> Felix to Fanamerva. Short line and another knock on in the grey back line. Things are going all wrong for the Bloemfontein outfit at this stage. Yeah, the micro skills are being tested. It's uh, day two of a tough, tough tournament. Yeah, and worrying signs for Yanni Geldmaes and his coaching staff is just uh, having a look at the tight forwards of Great College. Walking back slowly, the body language not great. They're obviously frustrated after a good start, scoring after five minutes. Yeah. And all the pressure that they've been putting uh, was resulting in them get, regaining the ball. But it just seems like it's starting to flow the other way now. Coach. There are some of the impact players. Bye. They're going to look to uh, just study the game so Ten. that when they come onto the field, they can make a good impact. Satole with the ball. And he's a good scrum by Greg College. Satole, a floating pass. Could see her this time, loses forward and then slaps it back. That's dangerous. Once again, Ethan Adams' hands just uh, failing him. And uh, that'll be something he's really disappointed at. He burst onto the scene as a grade nine player at the Grand Como week. He played two Grand Comos, did uh, Ethan Adams in 2022 and 2023. That's always a, a good sign. If a player can play two years of uh, Grand Como, that means you're quite an exceptional player. Let's hope Roach. that we can see more of Ethan Adams as we look at Bye. this. Just look at that backdoor pass. Just Take. wasn't ac too accurate enough. Just behind could see his shoulder. Ball's out. Ball is out. This time Adams does collect. Brings out a great, great tackle from uh, Rashivaga Mongwana. Kicks ahead. <laughs> Drives on to Donnell Hendricks. That's just silly play from the experienced center. But you just know it's coming. It happens so many times. And it's almost like the, the players just are, are, are pulled by some resistance band. And you, you've got to know that you're not allowed to dive on a player on the floor. But um, that is what the case is. As, uh, Felix just clears his lines, and that's a good kick. Great College's first Springbok ever was uh, a man with the name of Brookies van Brookies. And since then, they've pr produced the second most Springboks of any school in South Africa. Oh yeah, Maya, oh, he's go, been go. the target no, by excellence no, this far. At line out time. Now they get that uh, engine going, use the rolling use ball. Use Liam van Weyck at the back. He's got to use it. Bursts away, does uh, Liam van Weyck, as he's affectionately known. Donny Krier, nicknamed Wait, Boer. Crashes forward, the big tight head, Felix. Sulky skills in the back line, Ethan Adams, there you go. That's what he can do to sides. Big, burly, but quick as anything. Yeah, that's a spectacular try there by Adams. Just the injection and the angle that he came on. It was absolutely well held here by Felix. Just look at the way he just delayed his pass here coming across. And there, Adams just said, ah, it's an open line I'm going through as he canters in. Just look at the size of his hips, yeah. Kennedy. So, but how do you stop that? Yeah, how are you going to make a textbook tackle on that? that uh, you have to do it pretty well. But Adams identified a bit of space there. That's good one-two play by uh, the number 10. And there's an outside center. As we just spoke about, a lot of the ball's not sticking. And uh, that one did stick. <laughs> and it resulted in a brilliant try here. You can speak for days about the rugby pedigree of Great College, but it is uh, Jeppy High School for Boys and also King Edward the Seventh. you know, both Joburg schools, both English schools, and their rugby programs has just been on the up and up over the last few years. And it is so amazing that they are getting exposed to this level of rugby. At the Nordsee tournament for the second time, they're playing the big guns, they're playing pole boys, they're playing Great College, not shying away from anything. Beautiful take from the kickoff by Arya Mayer and this pack of forwards of Great College they just love the rolling mall and why wouldn't they with the coaches of the like of Tian Liebenberg and Vian de Pria involved go to ground squeeze ball McLaren he kicks deep comfortably taken at the back the kick was way too deep chance on the counter and that's a tackle that's missed in the midfield Looks like uh, Liam van Weyck. Now on the right wing. Nkombule gets a great pass away. 
Beautiful play by a JP Talent Sintole. What a step. That's Ruben Sillier back in cover and Philip McLaren in over the ball. The dynamo. Philip McLaren saves the day for Great College. He'll get stuck in all day. Yeah, there's nothing better than uh, being able to jackal on your own opposite number. McLaren was just able to get Sitole, and this was beautiful build up play. And just look at the offload here. They created enough space and just got Talent Sitole into wonderful space. And uh, just unfortunate, McLaren uh, was able to just get on the end of it and jackal that ball. You sound surprised, Kennedy, but I mean, they've got three or four guys with oh, yeah. full colors for basketball. Yeah, exactly. And that was right <laughs> off the basketball court. That was just so beautiful. Up, guys. LeBron. Open up. Open up. Blue. Open up. Yeah, definitely like LeBron James. They do have danger lurking in that back line with McMillan, Mongwana, and uh, Rashivaga. Oh, what a carry that is by the loose head prop, Dion Fenta. McLaren with a big Gary Owen. That's a brilliant kick. I am Mayer on the chase. He's uh, caught absolutely everything thus far. What skills from the lock forward now? Another pick and go, this time by Zander Smith. And then off their feet at the breakdown. That is a penalty that Great College do concede very often, trying to rush the tempo. Yeah, but that's a good kick, well identified there by McLaren. There was absolutely zero cover for JP at the back there. The fullback had uh, almost committed himself to his uh, left hand side. And it was well regathered in. There is a just a banana kick, and we spoke about the wind playing its part there. Matt Kutsia just uh, kicking the ball right into the teeth of that wind. Didn't really get enough momentum, but they're going to have to be accurate with this line out. Yeah, that's really well taken. Use it, use it. A great throw. Satole. It's a massive carry. Straight up the uh, gut. Uh, Andrik Tron hey, eventually hey. defends well. Sitole to Kutsia. That's a beautiful play by the fly off, and this time he strikes it a lot better. Yeah, you just feel that uh, wind has started playing its effect in terms of how they're going to look to exit, but that was a good settled play for them to just make sure you up for the better angle. I would like to see perhaps them looking at the number nine, you know, to clear. The ball from the base, which would be Satole. Another take for Oyamaya. And another rolling ball, no surprises there. That's good defense from JP. They've uh, stopped this ball once. Liam van Weck asked to stay bound. And uh, some more bad handling in the back line for Great College. That's just poor play. Yeah, just not accurate enough there are trying to run through some of their strike plays. I just feel that uh, the wind and a bit of the, the, the dew and the ball has just played its factor, but uh, both sides have to deal with it, and uh, the better sides will be able to handle that. But uh, when they have been given opportunity, they've uh, looked absolutely dead. They have uh, the Grey College back line. Opportunity here by the Bye. halfway. Or the JP pack to just a steady ball for Talent Satole. Good see it. With the right boot. Kicks it into the stands, and that was poor play, unfortunately, from the young fly half. Philip McLaren looking for the quick throw. Got 10 minutes and change remaining in this first half. Yeah, that was perfectly set up with that move. They went for the 8-9. Straight to Kutsia. And uh, there was oodles of space there in the corner. He just wasn't able to get his uh, kick into the right it direction. Right. Persist with this uh, plan of setting them all from the lineup. Trying to tire these okay, uh, JP forwards out. It's got to be used. McLaren does exactly that. And again... On the cutback, Ethan Adams straight over the top he goes. Strong as an ox is the great college outside centre. McLaren on the front foot. A little chip kick, beautifully taken. And that's going to be a card, most probably. Taken out in the air. Advantage, not rolling. New advantage, not rolling. 
Luke Cannon, he's been good thus far for JP on the carry. Oh, the pick and go, and then lost forward. Penalty only, the call for the tackle in the air. Yeah, courageous catch in the air there. For JP. This is tackled in the air, but um, he did well to just cover that little chip kick from Felix. You feel that JP are getting a couple of opportunities, they just need to capitalize. Looking at Felix putting through that little speculative kick, and just look at that, he doesn't hesitate at all. Straight up there, and that's good aerial skills there. No knock, no knock, Leon, no knock. No knock, says uh, the referee, Liam van Wijk. Play on. And it's a uh, play on. Play on. It's all play on. Jeppy. Playing some uh, good rugby. Putting great college under pressure. Great tackle on the cover. Once again, by Philip McLaren on uh, the big forwards. Yeah, the game is at an area where it's going back and forth here. Yeah. Great college. Get the numbers, get the numbers. No, get the numbers. They'll be looking to try just to get some width in their play and accuracy in terms of just their handling. And it's been a good effort so far by JP. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, yeah, Maya, once again, McLaren gets they've been untidy. Great college, and that'll uh, bother them. Yeah, another penalty conceded. They're their own worst enemy. They're keeping Jeppy in the game somewhat at this stage. But you've got to take your hat off as well to the Johannesburg outfit. They've been in the faces of Great College this whole game, making sure that they rush up on defense and put a lot of pressure on them. Yeah, it's that pressure that's resulted in a, a penalty opportunity here for Matt Kutsia. This is an area we spoke about them being consistent in terms of can they continue putting pressure when it's needed be. Kutsia, just an extra concentration. This is the easier kick that he's had so far. And he strikes it pretty well. And that's going to be good as well. 14 plays nine. It's... Uh Two converted tries to Great College, and it's three penalties for JP. And uh, very, very important last uh, six and a half minutes of this half. Those in attendance might be surprised, but uh, we knew JP will uh, put up a massive fight here. Talent Sitole. This time it's the fullback. Sanele Similani with a good kick. Doesn't find touch though. Hendricks. Alzeden Felix. He spots some space, but that's not the greatest kick. Ruben Silier. Tidies the kick up with some good defense. Could see it. Big handoff in midfield on Oya Mayer. Sitoli goes blind. Rashivaga with uh, amazing stepping. That's Kutatso Rashivaga and another penalty. Not rolling away. Yeah, excellent play there by Rashivanga. He was uh, rather isolated but was able to just uh, evade a couple of defenders and forcing them to get into areas where they can't roll away. Kutsia edges his team into that 22 and that's a better kick. Really good kick. Uh, well, he should be celebrated. They're feeling it here, JP Boys, or JP High School for Boys. They're certainly feeling it here at the NMI Toyota Northside Rugby Tournament. And uh, on TV, on TV, young man, watch out. Short line out, a couple of me men that'll be walking in. Nathan Clausen, one of them in the white scrum cap. Throw goes to the back. It's beautiful work and they set up the mall they're rumbling towards the line are they going to take the lead against great college it's another penalty let's go, for a let's collapse go. Go. the number now this might just be a card it's going to be cynical play centimeters short they go has carried back he was over the line and the try is awarded Jeppy High School for boys are putting Great College under the cosh here. 
They've got a kick to take the lead with three or four minutes remaining in the first half. Boy, oh boy, what are we seeing, Kennedy Timber? Uh, this game on, definitely this game on. This was excellent play by JP. He got that uh, driving ball, and that was uh, almost cynical. He brought down, but uh, the referee played advantage. And just look at the scrambling and the, just the effort. The pick and goes that uh, the forwards there he does. He dots it down. Excellent try. They have been rewarded for all the pressure that they've put on the Grey College side as uh, Tia is going to try get them into the lead here. He has been absolutely perfect so far and Jeppy are in the lead here. As we approach the 32 second mark. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely wonderful play. They've absorbed a lot of the pressure. They've come back at Great College. And now it is a Great College side that will have to search for answers. They felt like they were well and truly in control at 14-6. All of a sudden they trail 16-14. And it's uh, hacked into touch by uh, Similani. Can Great College hit back before half-time? It's an experienced side from Great College with a lot of players that played in uh, 2023 as well. Now it's a skewed throw and the errors are compounding here for Great College. And it doesn't matter how experienced you are, you will start feeling the pressure after Paul Boy's high second half performance against JP. Everybody was expecting an easy victory. Philip McLaren's father there in the stands. He's the minister in uh, the town of Valcom and the Free State. His brother Hyde Coach. doesn't look too bothered. He's on the phone. <laughs> Not too bothered at all. Thanks. There's good pressure that's been put on by JP. They must have also have to have a good clearance. Stay. Oh, they're going to run it. They're going to run it at Graham McMillan, Mongwana. That's a great tackle from El Zidane Felix on the big inside centre. Played back now to Matt Kutsia. Kicks it straight down the middle. Chance on the counter for Donnell Hendricks and company. Off to the races goes Donnell Hendricks. Loses his footing just before reaching the contact point. Oh, yeah, man, with a positive carry. He's been really good for Great College. Felix puts it up into the Pretoria sky. Matt Kutsia with plenty of time. Takes uh, the fair catch. Doesn't find touch. Finds uh, Felix. He's so dangerous on the counter attack. But he's well watched. Will Great College get this one down the ground? They do well. McLaren. And it's lost forward by Great College into the waiting hands of Jeppy. Beautiful kick by Talent Tole. We're going to the races. Felix. He does wonderfully well, does uh, the and fullback, but the counter act. And then the knock on was knocked on by the number six flanker, Ngampu MGG. Yeah, this is amazing pressure here being put on by Jeppy. And they are absolutely lifted in spirit. And you can just see the effort and the chase. Uh, excellent kick there by Talent Tole. He's probing behind there and uh, forcing Felix to go for the cover pretty much even and there is the kick great great top end kick and Felix did well just to recover it just look at the counter ruck here and unfortunately just a knock on there they want to pick it up and that was a knock on good call by the referee as McLaren is just a place is going to put in the ball here for JP but you can see him just looking at the options of what's happening around the blind side there now oh, it's a question of survival for Great College. Just before half time, they trail by two. They would love uh, to go Great. into that half time trailing by only two. Bye. Set. This is going to be a massive effort by JP. Balls out, balls out. Balls called out. And they do attack that blind side, do Great College, and then uh, throw it away again. Go! And uh, Liam van Weyck restores uh, the calm for Great College, kicks it into touch. But in a massive surprise, it is uh, JP High School for Boys taking the lead at half time. 
against uh, the much fancied Gray College by 16 points to 14. They were brilliant in that first half against Paul Boys as well. They we went into the break at 19 apiece. But those men, Tiervis de Brain and company, will not be too happy. At halftime then in the penultimate game of uh, day three of the NMI Toyota North State uh, Rugby Tournament, it is uh, JP 16, Gray College 14. NMI Toyota, your ultimate destination for all your Toyota needs. Selling, buying, in need of Toyota genuine parts, or simply servicing your Toyota. Make NMI Toyota your top choice. Our nationwide dealer network is committed in offering service excellence and customer satisfaction. Choose NMI Toyota, where excellence meets automotive passion. Proud sponsor of the North South Rugby Tournament. Don't miss out on quality insurance. Santam. Santam. Hi guys, Junior from the DHL Stormers. I just want to wish all the boys that are playing in the North South tournament all the very best. Um, go out there and have fun and enjoy. Cheers. It takes a lot to start a business. Yeah, ne. We understand that it takes a lot. It takes a lot to earn trust, for you to put your faith in us. We are here because of you. It takes a lot to make every day feel special, to make South Africans smile. One thing though, it does not take a lot to say Ngosi, buy a donkey, see a bonga. From all of us to you, we say halala. Thanks a lot.
If you're only joining us now, it is uh, a massive upset on the cards. Okay. Perhaps it is Jeppy. High school for boys leading Great College by 16 points to 14 <laughs> at half time. Some uh, harsh chats in that uh, Great College huddle. And uh, it is Aya Mayer contesting that one. But uh, who's taking it in? Because it's immediately turned into a mall. Is it Jeppy or is it Great College that has taken it in? A ball's not going to come out. So it was Jeppy who took it in. And uh, Great College will have the first scrum of the second half. Jeppy full value for that 16-14 lead. They absorbed the early storm from Great College, who started like a house on fire and opened the scoring after five minutes. The execution let them down later or later on in that second half. Coach! Bye. The key thing here for Jeppy is just to Set. almost continue putting the pressure but also hold your discipline. That way you'll be able to just uh, get some extra point scoring opportunities. Felix finds Peter van der who's had a rather quiet first half. He would want to fix nice. that. It's one of the star players in South African schoolboy rugby. Dion Fenta, it's a penalty advantage. Back to Felix. Searching for the space. No advantage offside. He finds it. But no advantage offside play from JP. Yeah, referee did warn them just to get on sides there. The forwards that were on the blind side. But they did well to uh, just try and capitalize off that advantage. And Felix just uh, looking for a cross kick. The, the referee identifying immediately that they couldn't get any advantage. And a key thing now for JP is that the, their defense has to be solid. And uh, almost continue with that pressure, whether it is at the source of the, the set phase or at drug time. The hill stabile quad infidum, the motto of a great college nothing is steadfast, which isn't true. And I'll tell you what is true is that they are in a rugby that's match fine, here. Brilliant sack, and that's lost forward. The mistakes continue coming. This will just buoy JP even more and more. You can see they're having a shoving match with the great college forwards, saying, we yeah, we're here to compete. We won't fold like against boys eye in the second half. Yeah, and there are them boys just uh, chilling almost with their hands wrapped up. But again, we did mention that uh, putting pressure at source is uh, one of the ways that uh, JP has been able to just turn over ball, and it's worked for them. Mine. They've also got to make sure that they've got clean exits here. Set! And uh, their chase lines need to be in place uh, because that back three for Great College are absolutely deadly. Sitoli finds a Mongwana, the hard running inside center. Once again, Felix stayed brave in the contact. But right through the middle, through the heart of the Great College defense. They buoyed here is uh, Jeppy at the start of the second half with a lead. Big carrying by their bruising forwards. Talent Sitole finds Kutsia. Now right. big carry by Racima Koza. He's been all over the show for JP. Looking for space. Picked up beautifully by Adams. Now Ruben Sulia. He's one on one with Kutsia. Advantage over. Inside pass. And it's lost forward. And still the mistakes continue for Great College. This time, again, Adam Niva who can't hold on. Yeah, that transition from uh, just a handling error straight into the counter there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, an area that uh, JP will want to make sure that they do not give Great College any transition play to play off. As they've shown in the previous games that they can be deadly. It just seems like their handling has been as accurate as they would like it to be. Yeah. Crouch. Must see, it just gives his wow. winger almost an isolated pass. But, uh, this ball could have stuck in, and it didn't. There is a knock on. You almost felt that was an early tackle there. It's JP who come away with it from scrum time, and uh, they attack straight up the gut once again. They've made their meters in that channel. Taken back. The inside channel taken back. Could see it. Sort of off the side of the boot. And, uh, 
The referee's call was taken back. back, so then that has to be directly in to touch the assistant referee fast asleep, but oh. has to be said. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Matt Kutsia was signaling to his scrum off that uh, rather kick it from the base and go long, um, because you can just see he's sort of uncomfortable in terms of when he has to kick uh, those uh, long raking kicks. He almost just plays, places his ball um, at a skew angle. That's why he tends to almost slice the ball. And now they uh, move the ball at line out time. Going back once! Attempting them all, but uh, Jeppy was uh, well aware to the fact. Oh, four, back. Now they do get a bit of momentum, this uh, great college pack of forwards. They do have a very well structured right. rolling ball. Still going. Right, that's use it! Use it! Now they've got to use it. They're not listening. It's Julian Cosmo who bursts away, but he's isolated. Go, Lewis Neck, Lewis Neck! Hold. Ruben Sillier acting as the scrum. Wait, wait, he wait, wait! Himself. Clean has arrived just in time. They're trying to go through the middle of Red College. Get out. Number 14, get out. And uh, it is uh, the right winger, Lindelani Kambule, who's penalised and it's uh, dinked in the, to the corner by Alzine Felix. Uh, important part of the game here for Grey College. They're driving more. They haven't quite oh, been as accurate as they would like them to be. And they're going to look to this opportunity to see on if they can just get back into the lead. Right, on, let's go. Important that JP just uh, steadies and almost nullifies that drive, but it's going to be difficult to do once it's set. Oh, yeah, Mayer with another good take, and it's under Smith bursting through the middle. Nice. Balls out, balls out. McLaren almost late to it, plays it on the blind side. Ruben Sillier <laughs> over in the corner. The setup play, it's beautiful work. They know there would be space on the blind side if they set up that mall, take it a couple of meters and quickly strike back. Yeah, key play there by McLaren in terms of just doing that 1-1 one, one play. They identified, of course, that JP was sending a lot of their forwards to that open side to defend. Uh, just isolated that one defender that was there to just get into the corner and this allows JP to not an opportunity not to sort of panic because they've they've been putting such huge pressure and they just need to sort of you know this is where your leadership takes charge doesn't it for sure if you could do it for 35 you can do it for 70 right? yeah. just stay with them Felix that one's not gonna call back not enough anyway. So 19 16 the lead. It's only three. The crowd, I think they slightly stunned with what they've seen so far. They shouldn't be at half time against Paul Boys High. JP was 19 all. They were leading in that game at a stage yeah. in the first half. That's old. That's even Felix. Has he got some blood? Yes, that is the case. Quick cleanup job for Yaku Kulain, the physio of uh, Great College Rugby. And he runs a practice from uh, the school gymnasium. It's Matt Kutsia. He goes slightly deeper this time. It's taken in. By, uh, the number six flank is under Smith. His dad, Philip, of course, a former Springbok. Hey, Blue! Felix sends her downtown, but he doesn't find tax. A chance now for the dangerous fullback. Similani was scragged initially by Philip McLaren. Talent Sitole. Another penalty advantage against uh, the upcoming line of Grey College. Could see it behind the back. Mongwana. He's been very effective, Macmillan Mongwana. Talent Sitole. He's wrapped up go. by Zander Smith. Go. Good ball retention. Mongwana. The big loose hit. Poulton. They're playing slightly backwards, surely. They'll come back for the penalty advantage. Yes, indeed. An opportunity for Kutsia, perhaps, to tie it up once more with 25 minutes to go. Yeah, important decision here to be made management staff of JP and the captains. And, uh, they just won't go away, will they? 
JP. They've uh, continued to just uh, retain the ball and put pressure. Also allowing themselves to get another three-point scoring opportunity. He's been quite immaculate, hasn't he? Matt Kutia. Well, doesn't seem to strike a long strike, but he strikes it quite accurately. And that's uh, always important because it's just about whether it goes over or not. That looks good again. Yeah, he splits the uprights once more. Very economi economical in his style. And is this the biggest 25 minutes of these JP players' careers thus far? They're happy to be here. Why wouldn't you be? It's the best schools rugby in South Africa on show. That's a good restart from El Zidane Felix. And it's taken by Great College. Chance uh, to strike back immediately. Oh, no. oh let it go! Slow down effectively. Now it's Burr Krier on the charge. Go. Gets stopped. A couple of meters short. McLaren back to the blind side. They go. Another ferocious carry. Trying to set up space out wide now. Great college. Another poor pass. Chance for Chippy. That's a forward pass. And another one perhaps. Yes, the referee has spotted the first one eventually. Boy, oh boy. That uh, transition plays are causing havoc out here. And uh, JP have continued to press pressure. And, uh, that crowd right there is enjoying every single minute of it. There's a couple of old Grey College boys there in attendance, a couple of their learners as well in the stage. They're not accustomed to this. Yeah, it might have not been the right call to have that deep ball, deep attack here. Just look at that pass, it's just dipped right as it got Coach. to him. There was forward pass there definitely well called by the referee comes out the mouth of the scrum it'll be a reset and yeah, that's a good effort here by jp they've uh, stuck with it as they would say i think there won't be anyone more prouder than uh Spillaus, you know uh, master of uh school rugby as you'd call it and of course, another very famous coach, coach. once uh, coached uh, at JP. Bye. A man that uh, you work with, uh, Kennedy Timber. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Jake White. It's a good effort at scrum time Stop. by Great College. That's lost forward. Oh, my word. The errors, the errors, the errors on the side of Great College. It's costing them here, and it's... Uh, Putting them in a massive fight. Pine Pino there in picture. A man who once taught at Great College and now uh, the commercial manager here at uh, Afrikaans who works here in school. He might be having a chat to Andre Falstead, who uh, sent a Coach. message to you earlier, Kennedy Timber. Bye. Yeah, I want to read that message back. But uh, a key no, no. important uh, component here is that uh, Jeppy just needs to get out of their half. It's important. They've been under pressure for the past couple of minutes here. And it's just a key key part that uh, they look to try exit as we really look at this knock on there yeah it was well picked up wow would you want to pick it up with one, one hand. hand the scram right. is going forward you've got all the time in the world Check. it's just poor basics at the back of the scram Sitole Mongwana at first receiver again could see how he gets sandwiched and carried backwards but how uh, they escape Beautifully do Jeppy now Mongwana gets that little ball away and into space they go. Dragged down from behind by Zander Smith. Jeppy on the charge here at Afrikaans who was seeing school. Another penalty advantage. They've learned their lesson, they're not going anywhere. I told a couple of people before this game I thought it was going to be really close. They said that they do not agree. But uh, JP High School for Boys with a performance of a lifetime in the first 50. This and kick to put them back in the lead. Certainly is a performance of a lifetime. And this is a back to back. You know, they had a tough game against Paul Boys. There is the rainbow. Could they be some uh, delight at the end of uh, the rainbow for JP here? And there is uh, Katia who's been a star player for them so far. 
is he going to be able to add that extra three that just takes him into the lead here? 20 minutes remain. He's going to split the uprights again. He picked up the kicking tee immediately. More than game on. On the base of what we've seen for 50. Will it be so wrong to say JP High School four boys might be favourites in this last 20? They're making less mistakes. They're doing the basics better. Way blue. Stay, stay. Could see it. Big runners have done the damage in the midfield. Another penalty advantage. Great college under the cosh. Talented Tolly there in a flash, as always. Was just a knock on advantage. Felix, deep ball to Donnell Hendricks. He'll need uh, support. He goes on a big run on the outside. Find support in uh, Dion Fenter. But it's stolen by Andre Bolton. And on the blind side, Jeppe on the charge. Yes. It's missed by Julian Cosmo. No, no, leave it. You're the day. Off their feet at the breakdown. Macmillan Mongwana is down in a heap for Jeppe. Another penalty advantage. Great College not uh, learning their lesson. They're going to be six points behind in a minute from now. And I'm telling you, Kennedy Timba, I'm calling it. The upset is on the cards. If this kick goes over, surely they are the favourites. That's a tricky one to call. Who would ever write off a great college side, right? And uh, those young gentlemen in picture certainly won't. It is important that uh, they keep on just uh, putting on scoreboard pressure here. Do Jeppe any opportunity they do? Because you've got to know that great college are going to head back at some stage. But you just want to try and get a, enough of a buffer to be able to just hold on to that lead. Do not go into the defensive mode. Keep, an, keep on keeping attacking. He's uh, not missed a single kick at goal thus far. And I've put the mockers on him and now Greg College run it out from deep. Is this the right option? Ruben Sillier cracks on the afterburners. Can he find the support? It's lost forward in the tackle. Philip McLaren has uh, Greg College woken up. Vanel Hendricks had to hold on to it, then loses it forward. And still they camped in their own half. And just listen to this crowd, they've all decided who they're supporting. <laughs> yeah, no secret uh, who they're supporting. Uh, they've just become a bit boisterous and I think they've sort of identified that there could be something special in the air here. But it's going to take a lot of fight. The game is still far from over. The tactics and strategies that are going to be used here from JP are going to be so, so important. You know, it is a long schoolboy season, and what JP is showing the rest of South Africa is that Gray is vulnerable. If you play in their faces, if you make them make those mistakes and capitalize on them, is that the 2024 blueprint for the rest of South Africa? No matter the result here today. Don't push him up. Just, a just pressure right in that tackle. Roach. Again, the focus is the ball just to get Fine. that strip away. Another turnover. Now JP to have a scrum. Just the 10 meters into Great College's half. Big scrum from Great College. It's picked up at the back by Rasima Koza. Could see a good line pick straight through the middle. Great running back. Kutazo Raji Vaga. Now I could see it. Inside ball. Let go! They're giving a great college as much, woo, if not more, woo. than they can handle at this stage. Philip McLaren with a counter rack. Peter van der Merwe involved. Trying to hold uh, this ball up. Surely that's a mall. And uh, the call eventually comes. It could have come a lot earlier by the referee. That ball was going nowhere. 15 minutes to go, their backs against the wall. How did Greg College respond? Yeah, those young gentlemen in picture are absolutely loving this match, and I think they wouldn't have made it, uh, you know, made it out that at halftime the score would be of this nature. And this is why schoolboy rugby is so, so entertaining. There's only 15 minutes remaining. 
70 minutes, of course, in schoolboy rugby. Great College need to exit yet. They need to get out of their half. It's a good scrum. It's held at the back by myself. Could see a Philip McLaren. Still, they continue trying to run it out of trouble. Still, they continue to be caught behind the advantage line. They're lucky to survive that clean out attempt. It's not the greatest of passes, but Danell Hendricks puts a hefty left boot on it. It's well taken at the back. And they're playing the clever game, they're playing the territory game. It's got to be sent by Danell Hendricks. That's a good kick. Sends it a long way downfield. He needs to put the rest of his sight back on side. Could see her with all the time in the world. Finds a good touch. They're playing the percentages, Jeppy, and they're playing it oh so well. Good outcome there for Gray College, though. They've uh, made it just past that halfway. And that's where they're going to be getting another opportunity to get that line out strike drive going. They haven't been as accurate as they would want to be. Zander Smith. It's lost forward in the tackle once again. Siabonga Kenny with a good little dot for Gray College. McLaren to the big Heinrich Tron. And that's a penalty, and that's very, very poor. Quickly taken by McLaren. Let's make sure we don't lift him up. Take him safe to ground. Be careful. No, no, no. You two guys know. Get back. They know, the referee says they know. And that's obviously the, not the best place you would know, Johan. You wouldn't want to be uh, tip tackled on that cricket area. It's not uh, the ideal place. Uh, surely not. Good touch finder from El Zidin Felix, and at last, he's not, they, uh, they carried on with it, and that's and then, why I said it was poor. Yeah. They realized they had him, and they could have uh, you know, brought, brought him back down to safely, ground. Yeah. Good opportunity here for Gray College. Open up, open up, Blue. Last time they were in this area, they did manage to score on the blind. Tax ah. fine, use that, use that! And they've been called twice to use it. You are three meters from the referee. You need to use it. Sometimes it boggles the mind, Kennedy Timber. You cannot say that you cannot hear that call. Yeah, I think it's also honest could go on to the McLaren there just to go and indicate to the ball carrier at the base of that driving mall that they just look to uh, perhaps have released the ball. And yet another turnover and uh, those spectators are starting to perhaps think about it that there could be something on the cards here. And it's Julian Cosmo who gets away with it. It's a tight end for Greg College. Now, no, Andrew no, no, Tron, the no. behemoth, can he ignite the great college fires? McLaren, Burkrier loses it forward. The woes continue for great college. And the crowd, and especially those of uh, them wearing the black and white stripes, they are in raptures, and why wouldn't they be? Yeah, this is good defense here by JP. You almost felt that there was a bit of a seam there that Stay square. could have uh, of you. Just caused extra trouble for JP, but they were able Roach. to just get a bit of a rip of the Bye. ball within that tackle. No, no. Already engaged, both, both of you. Yeah, this is an area guys. that JP have struggled to Keep almost just Wait for the get a clean execution and just exit out of their own 22. You just feel that between the 9 and 10 here, Sitole and Kutsia, they just need to... Roach! Must create an opportunity or a platform Five. to be able to just get a steady clean out. Set. Stay, stay. You see, Makosa is going to pick it up. He's been very good. Sitole to good see how it's charged down. And that's a beautiful scrambling play by the right winger. Lindelani in Kambule gets it off the park eventually. But why would they be so intricate up, 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 <laughs> on their own try line? Talk about making lemonade out of open lemons up, right there. Up. Was Kambula. Okay, he up. had to just uh, yeah, maneuver open. and dodge, build, weave, up. and try to get a little it's exit off. kick that open he was up, hoping that up, his wide. playmakers wide. would get. Yet another opportunity Wait. for Gray College. Wide. The six-man line-out. 
as the wind picks up that uh, back throw becomes very very dangerous and uh, i called it the back throw becomes very dangerous that's not what they were penalized for it was the pre-bind and i'll tell you what kennedy timber now the crowd will start believing it jeffy will start believing it we're into the final 10. they are back they will be deliberate but they will be slow Good see it. Again, not getting right contact on the ball. Before the ball is fed. But he did make his touch, but again, the these are the set phases bounce. that uh, Gray are going to look to try put pressure to get a turnover. Another replacement wearing number 20 comes onto the park for Gray College, Liam Santos. On the line, on the line. Open he up. has played first side rugby in 2023 as well. Nine minutes between Jeppy and their most famous rugby moments of their history. Fine, what a throw, over. what a take. Corza crashing go, no, it out. Go. Like he's done all day. Gray very narrow on defense. Couple of men over for Jeppy. Is this the crowning moment? Ethan Adams, that's high. <laughs> Jeppy, high school for boys with another penalty. The upset well and truly on the cards. Will they go a goal? No, they're going to dink it out in the corner. A try here. And they will feel well and truly in control. Not the greatest of kicks once again. Boy, oh boy, that Jeppy backline is absolutely in full tilt and in motion. They've showed some great skills in terms of just keeping the ball alive. Rasivanga is right at the heart of it as they get a back ball line out. Did Jeppy. Ah, that's one. Try to set up the rolling ball. The Grey College uh, pack has stopped the first attempt. <laughs> but now they do get momentum. Oh, They're trying to let's go now, let's go, let's their go. way around. Oh, Heinrich Tron with a massive counter. Oh, the defense of Grey College needs to save the day. Yeah, penalty. Oh, Liam Santos oh, just onto the park. That's how you contribute. Yeah. Alzeden Felix looks uh, to gain some territory for Gray College. Yeah, no question why Santos was brought on. That's why right at that breakdown he won that race and was able to just get his hands around the ball. The referee rewards him and uh, this is another opportunity for Gray College to get a strike play here. They haven't been as accurate as the, the coaches would have wanted them to be. As a shoelace. We need yeah, to wait. It almost seems like we've been saying that all day long. We're almost waiting for them to just come to the party. And uh, one thing I know, never write a Grey College side off. Santos. Peter van Amerva attacking that vacuum. Around the corner comes the Grey College forward. They're running with aggression. Peter van der is bringing himself more and more into the game. Ethan Adams this time has a look up. This is Jeppy's moment. This surely is their crowning moment of the, all the hard work being done by Carl Spillhouse and Drikas Fenter and all the coaches through the junior structures preparing the men for senior rugby. They will be on the edge of their seats. The Johan. whole of Kensington. And Johan, the questions that uh, you know, Carl Spillers must have sort of had to feel Coach. when he was asked that he, he's going to face Paul Boys on the first day and back it up with playing Great College. He must have said to them, are oh, you crazy? But uh, look at him now. Sitole finds a Mongwana. Philip McLaren no, no, strikes him. Racima Koza. No, let go, no. No, you must. You must. Stay. Julian Cosmo called off it. Could see it. Is that going to be directly into touch? Yes, once again. Hands an opportunity to Greg College with uh, five and a half minutes to go. Nice. They are on the attack. Will they survive inside, this inside. Jeffy onslaught? Will they come away with a late try to? Uh, 
win this game. All the pressure now on Liam Lem van Wijk, their hooker. Go to the back once again. They've uh, done that almost uh, every time uh, today. Liam Santos, he's certainly been impactful since he's been on the field. Now they attack uh, that middle channel. McLaren, change of direction to Liam van Wijk. He gets scragged. Good cleaning by the forwards. Santos, fresh legs. Philip McLaren goes on a little run around. Heinrich Kron, court standing still. Oh. Now it's the big Dion Fenter. Big shoulder in by Andre Fulton. The defense has been absolutely amazing. Ethan Adams. It's a great carry from the outside center. He's still going. Just look at him go. Still going, Ethan Adams. He's gone over five, six Jeppy defenders. Heinrich Traun, quick hands, Liam Santos. Couple of meters short. Now it's Heinrich Traun. He's still short, is he over? Held up the call. Drama in Pretoria. It's going to be a great college scrum, five meters out. Just look at that impact bench and uh, all the emotions and uh, they almost are believing them boys. They're just uh, observing all protocol, as you'd say. Hey, what's wrong? This is great college. Okay. And it's best putting their pressure. And they almost are believing and knowing that they can almost go for the try line. And it's almost going up against the defensive mindset that uh, JP, we spoke about them having intensity for 70 minutes and boy oh boy have they proved us right yeah, that was a golden opportunity for right, great college the big Heinrich Tron let's see he went over the line you can't let's see go. there now it's held up beautifully done by the JP defenders but it's a scrum five meters out come at the hour come your big players watch out for Peter van der in this move he's gotten himself into this game more and more he's back we're going again that's a last warning. Last warning. Oh, no, 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 there's no one. No, no. You're going forward. He drops. He's not allowed to find. Our college cannot afford any more mistakes in this fixture. The nuggety Philip McLaren to feed Fine. the scrum. Less than three minutes remain. And this is clever. The more time the scrum takes. The less there is for Greg College. They're one mistake away, perhaps from uh, their most famous or infamous loss in their rugby history. And exactly the reverse is a true for JP. No, man. And there is the mistake by Greg College. It's their front row who pre engages once again. Let's go, let's go. And they will go, take their go. time here. Fairy tales let's go, have been written let's go, let's go. about lesser storylines than this. Paul Spillhouse, will his dream come to fruition today? Great kick. It's taken quickly by Great College. They know how important this is. Peter van der Merwe. He has been uh, well marshaled the, the oh, whole day. On your feet. Fine. And it's uh, Great College, you do come away with it. Got it! And a penalty goes to Jeppe. That might just seal the fate of the leading side in South Africa in 2023, Great College. What a privilege. What? What a, what a privilege to be able to be here witnessing this exceptional play here by Jeppe. And they've made sure that they've identified those breakdown and they've won the races to be able to pull for half the balls that have been uh, set up by great college and they find okay. themselves with the line out just 10 meters into great college's half with almost just uh, under a minute left here could this be the one for jp and carl spillhouse surely it is their day surely they can uh, right there names on a victory against great college great college has to go all of 60 meters to try and affect a winning score here against jp ethan adams 
Does well once again in contact with the really outside centre. No mistakes, that's the call from JP. Great College certainly cannot make a mistake. And it's Siabonga Kenny busting straight up the middle. McLaren on the blind side. Van Merwe. Liam van Beek needs to come in field. They one poach away. They one mistake from Great College away from history for JP. Is that the poach? That is the poach. Talent Sitole. JP High School McCoys have done the near impossible. Yanni Geldene is distraught. He gets a hug from the headmaster. But history made at the NMI Toyota North South Tournament, hosted by Peter Rousseau at Afrikaans World School in Pretoria. Elzeden Felix can't believe it. His teammates can't believe it. And how does Grey College come back? But that's not the important question right now, Kennedy Timber. Light the fires in Kensington. Burn them long into the night. Salute your heroes. They have come out and made the whole of Kensington, the whole of JP High School for Boys, and their coaching staff and peers so, so incredibly proud. History in the making. King Edward VII couldn't do it on day one, but JP High School for Boys came, knocked Grey College off their throne, and it has been a throne that they have been on since the end of 2022. Hats off to Rasima Koza and his boys. Rajivaga and Mongwana was brilliant in the midfield. Talent Sitole ran the show, and uh, their tight five stood up to the onslaught of the Great College Mall. They could handle everything Great College threw at them. Kennedy Timba, you said it. We are so, so privileged to witness, not history, but absolute catastrophe for Great College and delight for JP High School for Boys. Yeah, almost just speechless. I mean, some of the performances here from that uh, JP side, you mentioned all of them. For me, Satole, he was absolutely crucial in terms of everything that uh, JP did well. And their forwards did uh, rise up to the occasion. And uh, we've got to mention that uh, Koza, who was uh, the man of the match, who was uh, the captain and uh, obviously playing at uh, number eight for them. He was so inspirational. A lot of dejected faces there from the great college side. But... Uh, You've got to take your hats off to the pressure and just the structure and the strategy that JP used to be able to get this victory. It is absolutely indescribable. It is uh, pure pandemonium for the one side. It is uh, pure disgust and heartbreak for the other. Great College have been here before. They will be here again in future. It is how they stand up and be counted from here on in. For JP, what does this do for their season? Does it set it up? Or does it bring an enormous amount of pressure? Exactly how they will handle it from here, we will have to wait and see. But Mongwana and his whole side with the Racima Koza, the captain at the front, he was monstrous with those carries in midfield. They protected and watched Peter van der Merwe like a hawk. And uh, Ethan Adams came into the game more and more to the end. But it was a coaching masterclass from Drikas Fenter and Carl Spillauth and the whole team. They knew what was needed. That was the big thing. They were in the faces and they just never let up. It was a 35-minute effort on Friday. It was a 70-minute effort tonight. The champions, ladies and gentlemen, has been dethroned. JP High School for Boys defeat Great College at the NMI Toyota Nordside Rugby Tournament by 22 points to 19. Jubilation, that's the only way you can describe it for the black and white. Racima Koza received his award. It is, of course, sponsored by Mega Master, the Man of the Match Awards here at the NMI Toyota North State Rugby Tournament. It'll be his proudest day of his career. 
And uh, from myself for the last time today, I leave you with the scenes on uh, the main field of Afrikaans who are and school currently. JP High School for boys 22, Great College 19. NMI Toyota, your ultimate destination for all your Toyota needs. Selling, buying, in need of Toyota genuine parts, or simply servicing your Toyota. Make NMI Toyota your top choice. Our nationwide dealer network is committed in offering service excellence and customer satisfaction. Choose NMI Toyota, where excellence meets automotive passion. Proud sponsor of the North-South Rugby Tournament.